Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment in time? Just wanted to come on here for a minute and talk to y'all for a little moment. Before we get off into that, let's get off into a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us, guide us, and guard us to protect us throughout this day. And lead us throughout this day, Father God. Show us the way. And I pray, Father God, that you come to me at this moment in time in order to get the people out of the truth. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to get the people out of the truth. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father God. Amen. Amen. Now, what I want to speak about is uh, a certain type of family member. Well, used to be family member. I mean, used to be uh, ex family member. And I think this is a warlock. Because he, um, too. Yeah. I think it is. I'm trying to see. It's okay. Oh, excuse me for the guy. But yeah, um, I want to speak about a certain person, which is, uh, used to be, um, this ex family member, uh, sister of my boyfriend. Okay. And his name is Roderick Coleman, okay? Um, this enemy, he's a, um, I think he's an energy vampire as well. They all are energy vampires, but they, they, uh, they, um, these are ones of the people who tries to stop, uh, people from, um, being successful, being successful in things like this here. But also they get in the way of certain things that tries to, uh, uh, um, him, I, it's one thing, two or three things that I noticed about them. When I had came back to them, and then, and not only that, when I was around them, is that I could feel of a, a energy of, uh, you know, like hatred, jealousy, or envy. And I felt it, you know, and um, I didn't really just too much try and... Um, because I wasn't awakened at the first time, but then when I got awakened, I noticed, you know, how my energy was, uh, how they was, uh, like, ciphering off energy, and that's what they do. They cipher off people. But not only that, they do these karmic cycles. <laughs> these are the ones that do this karmic cycle, which is this ex, uh, um, uh, family member, which is this keyboard, and this, uh, Roger Coleman and everybody else of those ex-karmic family members. They try and keep people in karmic cycles as well. I told y'all, y'all gotta like, y'all gotta understand, you know, you gotta be aware of these things because it is very, um, very not good, you know, because things have, uh, once you get away from something that you didn't too much know nothing about until God showed you these things, then it was a good thing, you know, and that you know now, you um, can look back on those things and not, um, you know, uh, 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 not say, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm trying to see how I'm gonna say this. But anyway, excuse me guys, I got distracted for a minute. <laughs> that was a nice <laughs> Nice. But um, yeah, um, he is one of like uh, one of these ringleaders, you know, that they, they, they all do these things too as well. And these wicked ones, they do these things all over the planet. And um, why they doing these things over the planet and things like this here? Uh, they try to keep people in uh, calming cycles and things like this here. See, they don't think I know about these things. This is her, this is him, and this is uh, 
this this uh used to be ex uh sister okay and the reason why i'm speaking about these things is because it's something got to be done about these things these folks been doing these things for a very 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 long time very long time do you understand me not only that, that they are extraterrestrials, demons, and witches, okay? Now, these ones, this I know for sure are from different planets. You understand me? They are from different planets. And they work for the enemy. So... Why they working for the enemy and things like this here, right? They got these, uh, they got, um, I was wondering, now I see though. I see how this thing is going. Now I used to be auntie, right? Auntie. Excuse me, I'm a little, you know, my words different from everybody else. Um, they, uh, now I come to the fact, and I know now, why those parties was going on for 30 years. Every weekend, they do this. Every single weekend, they do this. And they've been doing these parties for 30 years. Everybody get a get-together, you know, it's, it's basically like a get-together, uh, every weekend. Every single weekend, they party, they had their little drinks and they, uh, 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 they little drinks and they, um, and you know, the drugs and things like this here. But it is the thing though, it's not only just the party was going on for 30 years, but the, 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 uh, but it was a cycle. <laughs> it was a cycle. To keep people coming back to the same old place. It's almost like um, the witch's house or something, you know? And you got to be aware of these things because in the spiritual realm, this, <laughs> this is what goes on, you know? And... As I was seeing these things up in the um up in the spiritual realm, I seen these things take place. And I see these things going on. And that is a witch house, you know? Um and she is a witch, but she's also uh one of the ringleaders as well. Um but this this Roger Coleman as well, he's like a uh he might either be a warlock. I can't just put my finger on him, but I know he's an energy harvest. The reason why I know he was an energy harvest harvester is because when I came back that time and I found out about my um uh, my um gifts and things like this here. What he did was he tested my gift without me trying to notice that he was testing my gift. But I knew what he did. What he did was he tapped inside my energy. When we was, me and him was sitting up there and we was, uh, I think I was smoking a, a black amount at the time. I didn't smoke, I, I don't smoke now. And it's been a couple of years ago. Um, but I was, uh, I used to smoke back then, you know, um, cigarettes. And, As me and him smoking and talking, after you know, after me coming back from a long trip and after me not talking to them so for so many years, and I wonder why, what am I really doing back here at the same spot? Why am I here? And I just had two jobs, going on three jobs, getting ready to give me a place of my own and doing all these things to do these things. Why every time I get ready to get to a place? It, I always end up coming back to that same cycle. 
And as he was tapping up in my energy, I was going through my head thinking about that. And I noticed then, you know, like, he's, he's tapping inside of my energy. And this is a cycle. So I figured, and that's what they're mad about right now. They mad about people being breaking these cycles and things like this here and staying away from them and things like this here because it is a, a, a it is an ongoing hamster wheel. It's like you just Woo, they are very they work for this wicked one. They really do. They are they are special ones for this wicked one. These are the children of him. They gotta be. Because it's like they they uh, they do these things on a very uh Occasionally, no, and they keep these people in these cycles and these things, and they don't know that they're going through a cycle because they always coming back to them, or they always got to go back to them. And people don't even notice these things, you know, why they always coming back after so many things. See, the thing is, after they had been uh, um, dealing with those people in their lives and things, and those people go on and do their lives, and those people getting ready to uh, uh, prosper, and those people getting ready to prosper real good and things like this here, they do spell work over those people to bring those people back into those cycles. Hmm. Yeah. 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 It's hitting me too again. <laughs> it's hitting me while I'm speaking about it. Yeah. But yeah, that's how they do it. The minute that person get ready to prosper and go somewhere and, and do something good, they always throwing spell work or they always doing something to try and scare or, or try and put L-E-A-R up in that person or uh, doing these tactics and things like this here to try and pull those people back into those cycles and things like this here. But I rebuke it and I bind it up and I cast it down. So if you're listening to this message, this is what's going on with you if you're dealing with these type of certain individuals. Okay? So, I'm letting you know now. But let's get off into this. I pray and I promise that, Father. You bring down the... um. Wrath for God, judgment, calm, and death and destruction, Father God, upon this Roger Coleman, Father God, up in the, and expose this enemy, and expose this demon, Father God, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in this realm, up in the earth, in the spirit realm, the earth, in this realm, and the universe, in the spirit realm, the universe, in this realm. I pray and I prophesy, I declare the people on the sound of my voice, I command it. And, so, and I pray and I prophesy, Father God, uh, you sound swords of death, our swords, our weapons of war, Jesus, you sound swords of death, our swords, our weapons of war, ancient one, you sound swords of death, our swords, our weapons of war, assistant master, you sound swords of death. Our swords, our weapons of war. Counsel me, you send our swords to death. Our swords, our weapons of war. Universe, you send our swords to death. Our swords, our weapons of war. I send our swords to death. Our swords, our weapons of war. Everybody from the Motown universe, oh my God, you send our swords to death. Our swords, our weapons of war. Avenging angels, tiger angels, tower angels, power angels, archangels, warning angels, dominion angels, chaos angels, y'all send us towards the death, I swords our weapons of war. Universe, you send us towards the death, I swords our weapons of war. I send us towards the death, I swords our weapons of war. Uh, who else? Uh, uh, cast me, you send us towards the death, I swords our weapons of war. Troopers, you send us towards the death, I swords our weapons of war. Uh, uh, guards, you send us towards the death, I swords our weapons of war. Uh, 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 uh. Gardens, you sound swords and death, I swords our weapons of war. Ancient ones, you sound swords and death, I swords our weapons of war. Everybody from the Motown universe, oh my God, you sound swords and death, I swords our weapons of war. Assistant master, you sound swords and death, I swords our weapons of war. To uh, uh, um, bring down the wrath of God, judgment, calm, and death and destruction upon this Roger Cove, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, and expose this demon, enemy, this demon all around the whole entire planet. Up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, kingdom of heaven, up in this realm, and earth in the spirit realm, earth in this realm. Up in the universe, in the spirit realm, and universe in this realm. I pray in the prophet's out of the cloud, on the sound of my voice, I command it. And I pray in the prophecy of the cloud of God. It's all the commandments of Father God. 
Excuse me, God. There's all the commandment judgment, Jesus. There's all the commandment judgment, Angel One. There's all the commandment judgment, Counselor. There's all the commandment judgment, Our Angels. There's all the commandment judgment, Trooper. There's all the commandment judgment, Garden. There's all the commandment judgment, Um. Everybody, for more time, you verse, Oh my God. There's all the commandment judgment, Um. Ancient One. There's all the commandment judgment, Sister Master. There's all the commandment judgment, Uh. 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 uh um. The door of commandment judgment, um, universe. The door of commandment judgment, uh, um, councilman. I pray and I prophesy, declare the prayer on the sound of what's the command. Now, I pray y'all take the message to the Lord Jesus Christ at this moment of time. Get just a fast and pray and so read your word. Be a relationship with the Lord, commune with the Lord, and uh, this is God's good news for you today. Y'all be blessed. Amen.